Hello and welcome to the Knots Landing After Show here on JLJ Media. I'm about to read this and then we're going to discuss. I am not a Pollyanna, not now, not after what was done to me. And that's why I feel so angry. I want to be a Pollyanna. I don't want to look at the world through rose colored glasses. I want the world to be rose colored. I want people to be nice. People should be nice. Nice should be the norm. I hate that I can't trust anyone. I hate it that I can't put my daughter on the front lawn by herself. I hate it that I have to lock my car and that I have to worry about an alarm system in my house and I can't send cash in the mail. That's not the way it's supposed to be, Gary. I liked being a Pollyanna. I want to be a Pollyanna. That's from episode 280, 30 years ago, a show called Dead But Not Buried, part one. Of course, the way I read it was not the same as her. She, of course, did this, the, the way she emoted and said everything was amazing. That speech from Karen, uh, which was Michelle Lee, talking to Gary, which is Ted Sackleford, um, came after a lot of, she had been stalked, they were less death, there's a lot of things that happened, they were having a reprieve. And that speech has been so polarizing for some reason. Uh, but this may you read, you can read online about people, people, who don't, people who hate that speech. And those of us who love that speech, to me, it's the most famous speech in primetime television, if not all soaps. That speech just completely stands out to me. There are other speeches that I've had, heard on other shows that come close, but this is the one that stands out. I think it's so relevant. We're talking 1991, 1991, and we were just starting to have alarms in our cars and our homes. Uh, it was just starting to get a little, it was starting to get a little much like you can't have the kids out front without looking at them. Because in the 80s, you could do that. We did, we were outside playing in the streets all day long. But in the 90s, you had to stop, you couldn't start, you had to stop doing that after. It was starting, it wasn't as bad as the 2000s and now, but it was getting, it was starting, the tide was turning. I remember the 90s when I couldn't send cash. There's a don't send cash. I used to get cash to my grandparents all the time. They're like, don't send cash in the mail. People are going through envelopes and taking it. It became a little more. And it just feels like that speech is evergreen. Our society has not gotten any better. Everything about it has gotten worse when it comes to half this stuff. I could imagine my grandkids playing on a front lawn by themselves, or I have an alarm system in my house. I have people who don't have an alarm system in my house. I'm like, what? I've been broken into. I've walked, once I walked into them breaking into my house, I'm very lucky I'm here. Um, but her speech to me is so well done. So, I mean, just, I mean, so it, it changed her life. She said that speech and people coming up to her, but it has such meaning in the real world. And Knott's Landing was such a real world based show compared to the others who were a little more larger and grander in scale and scope. They were not over the top. Um, David Jacobs said once, I think that Dallas was for them, it's about them, and I think it's about us. The suburbanite, the middle class, upper middle class, like you know, some of them were upper middle class, um, and the problems they had. You know, Nas tried to do some little outlandish storylines here and there, a little few, they didn't really work. But in this one, I, see, I remember watching the speech live, I watched the show live every Thursday night on CBS. Um, but I just, the speech, I, I know it by heart. I, I read it because I want to make sure I want to get sure all the words. But go on YouTube, it's there, you'll see it. It's, it is just, it's, it's Michelle Lee at her finest. And it comes from this soap opera. It's funny, each soap has their thing, right? Each primetime soap, or each, even each daytime soap, has something that makes them iconic, has a character, or a logo, or a theme song, or a speech that belongs to them. And that's letting us several iconic moments we're gonna talk about. They had Val and the twins. They had Laura's death. There's several, we're gonna, on this, we're gonna cover on this show. We're covering, we're getting there, we're gonna cover them. There's some really iconic moments, but this is one of the first ones I was deciding, which one did I wanna talk about first is this one. You tell me how you feel about the speech, if you like it or don't like it, or you feel like it's not, you know, it's too much or over the top. I think it's a great speech, but I'm curious to hear what you think at home. The Knott's Landing After Show has a nice big hit for me here on JLJ Media because of you. Um, so I'm trying to make sure I do shows that interest you, the fans of Knott's Landing. Thanks to Knott's Landing. Facebook groups are so wonderful to be posting in there. And, and the folks on, on, on Instagram and Twitter, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yes, Karen's Pollyanna speech, one of my favorites. I'm James Lott Jr. See you next time.